Hello, welcome to our channel. My name is Osman. Today we're in London for the Fujifilm event. There have been rumors circulating that Fujifilm may announce an X100 camera, so a successor. And I'm a huge fan of X100 cameras. I love the X100T, I owned it. I have the X100F as well. So if Fujifilm announced a new one, I'm really excited to see it because the rumors are suggesting that they finally updated the lens and made it a little bit better. And if that's the case, I really want to get my hands on it. Nothing's been announced or discussed just yet. Everything's a little bit hush-hush at the moment. So as the night progresses, I'm going to be giving you some more information. And if they do announce something, then brilliant. I'm going to be talking about it. And hopefully I can get my hands on it and we can do like a hands-on review or maybe just give my first impressions on the camera. But for now, just at the event, we're getting some finger foods and so on. A lot of pretentious things going on, but it's all in good fun. So yeah, let's see what, what this event is all about. Okay, so the event is just about to start. I tried to fish for some information from a bunch of the uh, people at Fujifilm, but that's not gonna happen. And everyone's been hushed upstairs, so the stairs behind us, that's where we're gonna go. And the summit's about to start, so let's see what the uh, event is all about. Okay, so I'm Shin Udono from so, Fujifilm headquarters in Japan. So today, so the, we talked about our lenses and cameras. I'm going to talk about X100. Today, Fujifilm announced new X100. So we call it X100B. この100Vは美しいカメラだと思ってます。撮る人の気持ちを喚起するデザイン。一言で言いますとなんかこう魂がこもってるカメラ。Okay, so the X100V has finally been announced and I've managed to get my hands on two of them, the black and the silver one and obviously the silver one is the better one so that's the one I'm going to be holding. This camera is, I have to say, it feels so much better in the hands. I mean, I love the X100F but something about this just feels nicer and it just feels way more comfortable to hold even though the grip isn't that big. The lens has been much improved so they're calling this lens very sharp in comparison to, pre to the previous one and looking at the sample images definitely there I mean the lens has been something that a lot of people have been complaining about finally Fuji has updated it and god it's so much better especially like I said looking at the sample images but the main thing that I'm feeling at the moment is the body and the design this is so nice it feels so much more premium. I love this little slanted feeling of this little slant that's on the back. I don't know, it's just that little thing. I just think that it's been really well made. The viewfinder looks great. The focusing in this one has been described as being comparable or about the same as the X-T3. So if that's the case, then this is going to be an exceptional upgrade because the autofocus in the X100F, although it was good, just wasn't on par with some of the other X-Mount cameras that Fuji have. And of course, the um, weather sealing. Weather sealing is something that a lot of photographers have been complaining about and this is a big deal for me because whenever I'm shooting with the X100F I'm just a little concerned about the rain or the weather. I mean I'm in England, the weather's not great over here. I can't really go out and shoot with the X100F whenever I want to but with this one it's weather sealed. You do need a filter on the front of the lens because the lens elements do move so that is a little bit of a downside, but I don't think it's the major issue. As soon as you put a filter on this, it's pretty much completely weather resistant. They haven't called it weather sealed, but yeah, I mean, I'm so impressed with this camera. You know, it's, it feels surprisingly light as well in the hand. I mean, I gave it to Annette and Annette said the same thing, but yeah, I'm so impressed with this camera. I can't wait to get my hands on this properly and do a full review, because this is just a first hand look at the camera and uh, we don't have any SD cards in it. I don't think that we're allowed to take any pictures with it because it is 
pre-production, I think. Actually, we were allowed to put an SD card into the camera and take some sample images. But once again, I do need to make you aware that this is from a pre-production camera only. Now, I didn't get a chance to properly test out the camera and take loads of images with it because we had to rush away from the event and catch our train. So I just took a few shots because I really wanted to show you guys the sharpness and the clarity that this lens has in comparison to the older one. Now, if you've ever shot with the X100F, S or T, then you'll know that when you're shooting wide open, it wasn't that sharp. You got this really smudgy looking image. But the X100V, seriously, it's such a huge upgrade. I'm so pleased with that. So this is the first image we're gonna look at. It's a JPEG straight out of the camera. And I mean, we all know Fuji looks great anyway, but just look at this. This is a F2, by the way, wide open. I mean, there's a little bit of motion blur. That's my fault. We were in a rush, but honestly, it's just so sharp, the lens. And I'm so pleased with it. And the background blur, everything just looks so nice with it. I love the, the updates that they provided with this latest lens. Moving on to the next one. And again, I mean, look at how sharp that is. And this is zooming in at a distance. Again, JPEG straight out of the camera. And look at the amount of detail that it's picking up. We don't see that smudgy look that we used to get with the X100F. It's crystal clear. It just looks amazing. And this is the first X100 camera that you can shoot wide open without any compromises. Looking at a couple of raw files and this one, I think I did a slightly better job, but I misfocus a little bit once Lightroom loads. Misfocus a little bit and I hit the eyelash, but look at the eyelash. I'm just going to go two to one on that one. And I mean, it picks up such a great deal of detail. I have to say, I'm very impressed with the performance. It's just so good. Um, once again, I mean, zooming in, I think this is a little bit better. I managed to fo nail focus on this image far better. And look at the way that it picks up such a great deal of detail on Annette's face. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm so excited about trying this camera properly. And uh, a couple of images where I've got you know, a bit of still life. And once again, look at the clarity of this one. Like the X100F n was never able to pick up this amount of detail. And I think that this lens is probably sharper than the uh, 23 F2 prime lens that you can buy for X-mount cameras too. And finally, we're going to look at this image. I was shooting with the black camera and uh, I mean, look at that. You can actually make out the rings quite clearly on the dial of this camera. So if sharpness and clarity were an issue in the older cameras, in the older X1 series cameras, and you wanted a sharper lens, then Fuji has definitely delivered on that front because this lens wide open, again, shooting at F2 wide open is incredibly sharp. And I'm very pleased with what Fuji has done uh, with the X100V. Anyway, let's get back to that previous clip again. Cameras due to be released at the end of this month uh, I, I've forgotten the day, I, there was just too much information, I should have written something down. But yeah, the camera is due to come out this month. And another thing has been announced as well, Fujifilm have announced that they're going to announce the X-T4 on the 26th of February, but we'll get to that later. Um, honestly, I'm so impressed with this camera. I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to buy one of these because I love this series of cameras. Anyway, just want to, this is just a hands, first hand look at the X100V. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like this, hit the like button, please subscribe, share this video, and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.